everyone out there. The Power Pen Academy is now in session. Mr. Little Red here to, is here to teach you, all of you, about the history of professional wrestling that happened right here in Roseburg, Oregon. Hey, about time you What's got up? here, Mr. Parker. Say by the bell. Yeah, next time you'll be counted out if you ever do that again. Okay. Understood? Yeah. I will count you out of this class if you ever do that again. Yeah. Okay. Now put your phone away. Sit down and shut up. Big money, Mike. Yeah, I see you back there too. Take your money. Take it. Wad it up. Put it in your pocket. Sit down and shut up and listen because what I'm going to teach you, you're going to want to learn. And it's for you, Ike Van Dyke. I know you're excited. I know you want to learn this. Please, just sit down. Okay. I know you're excited. We'll get you there. Okay. I promise you. Big money. I wasn't. Hey, I hear you back there. I wasn't hired by the board of. I was hired by the board of directors, not by you. So I don't care what you got to say. Sit down. Be quiet. Open your eyes. Open your ears, and we'll go from there. Class is now in session at the Power Pit Academy. Hey, Mr. Parker. Whoa, whoa. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Get Sorry, off your phone. I'm on get Snapchat. Up. Hey, hey, get off your phone. I'm on Snapchat. Put, I don't care. Add turn me it off. On Snapchat, hey, by the way. Hey, turn it off. Put it away. You're here to learn. You're here to learn okay. the history of pro wrestling that happened in Roseburg. You're not going to worry about your phone. The women will still be there when you get back, okay? This is only going to be... Hey, put that away. Okay. Put that away. Knock it off. I want you to pay attention. I just wanted to post this. Hey, 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 hey. I want you to pay attention, okay? okay? Okay. Now, at that time in 1980, there was a uh, feud going on between two gentlemen by the name of Roddy Piper and Playboy Buddy Rose. Wait. Hey, wait. what? What? Who's Playboy Buddy Rose? He was one of the most vicious rule breakers that came out of Las <laughs> Vegas, Nevada. That's where he was built from. He was blonde headed, weighed about 250, 260. And he was a vicious rule breaker, broke every rule in the book to win a match. He was taking on, at that time, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper, hey, pay attention. Roddy I'm, Piper, I'm hey, listening. Roddy Piper and he, Buddy Rose had teamed up with Killer Tim Brooks and Ed Wyskowski in an eight man Who tag. Who are they? Okay, they were Rose's tag team partners and friends. They were okay. all friends. Piper and Killer Brooks ran around together right with Rose and Wyskowski. All four were friends at that time. They were friends. What happened was they got into an eight-man tag up in Portland, and Miss Q and Killer Tim Brooks got beat one, two, three in the middle of the ring, and it cost them the match. Well, Piper took offense to it, shoved Rose, Rose shoved him back, and a feud erupted out of that. And that's how they became enemies, right then and there on that spot. And they were having matches all over the place. On February, or uh, excuse me, on January, uh, got it written down here, yeah, let me find it. Ah, uh, yes, here Should we go. Should I be taking notes? I want you to memorize this. You don't need to take notes. I want you to memorize what I'm about to tell you, okay? The um, reason I, I want you to snap. memorize it, so you'll be able to entertain the fans. Hey, get off your phone! Someone just snapped me. Hey, I don't care. Put your phone down. Your phone is not your life. See, it is. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Your phone Snapchat is not your life. Is life. Your phone is not. No, it isn't. Put your phone down. You need to understand your history to know where your future is going. Okay? Now, on January 22nd, they met one another in a steel cage match. And it was a real barn burner of a match. They were going back and forth, brawling, smashing each other into the cage. Nobody knew what was going to happen, what the outcome was going to be. Who I, won? Okay, I'm getting to that point. They were brawling. You just spit on me. I did not spit on you, Mr. Parker. Now pay attention up here. Okay. Man, oh Lord. Pay attention up here. I'm getting fed up with your stupid questions. Now listen How to me. How are they stupid? Well, you should know some of this you, since you're in the business now. You um, need to learn your history to get from point A to point B. Got it? Okay. All right, now you listen. Now, Piper and Rose, like I said, they brought in the middle of that ring with Piper uh, finally coming out on top. When, yes. When was this again? January 22nd, 1980. 40 years See, ago. See, this is why I should be taking notes. Why? Well, you don't even... I don't have any paper now, so you gotta give me some. Oh. I can't remember you all this. You will remember. You will remember this. I guarantee. You will stick with me. You will remember this, okay? Okay. You will remember this. 
I still need some paper. Oh! I'll get you some paper in a minute, <laughs> all right? Just pay attention. Roddy Piper eventually won that match. Both men bled. The crowd... I need a pencil, too. Oh. Whoa there. <laughs> Enough! Hey, is Enough! this time? I am trying to teach you something, and you are making it more difficult than it has to be. Hey, get off your phone! Put the phone away! Well, I, I said the women... break time. I, I, I'll tell you when it's break time, Mr. Parker. I will tell you when it's break time. Okay? Oh. Now you pay your attention. Put that down now! Oh, my. Jeez. Calm down there. <laughs> Man! I'm trying to teach you something and you keep interrupting me. I need me. to idolize myself, you know. Oh. Idolize yourself? You've I mean, only had one hair. match! Look at this hair, look at this oh, body. Uh-huh, yeah, your sister got the looks, you got the hair. Yes, I know. I've heard all the jokes. Now you look up here, right here, right now. I am telling you right now, I am going to teach Calm you this. Down. I am going to teach you this. Oh. If I have to beat it in your head and rubber stamp it on your forehead, I will! Isn't that against the law? No, it isn't in this classroom. Because you're going to learn, and you're going to learn now because I said so. Why are you only getting on to me? Isn't there more? Well, they're back there listening. Okay. I see Big Money Mike listening. I see Ike Van Dyke over there getting all excited and getting all fired up back there. I calm down. I got this, okay? I promise you. I got this. Big Money, I take your money, put it back in your pocket. I don't care. Now, Mr. Parker, I'm trying to teach you something here, okay? Piper and Rose put on one heck of a match in there for the fans. When they were doing that cage match, and yes, Piper came out on top. Piper and Rose were going back and forth, and the fans out here were eating it up, did not know what was going to happen. They had no idea. And when Piper finally won it, all oh, the fans erupted, they cheered, they thought it was great. But while the match was going on inside the ring, here come Crazy Luke Williams and Maniacal Butch wait, Miller. Wait, wait. The Sheep Herders. Okay. You know that? them, you know them as the Bushwhackers in the WWF. Okay. But at that time, at that time, they were two of the vicious most vile rule breakers of a team you ever saw, and they spilled more blood on people than anybody than anything you ever saw. They were they would use every shortcut. They would use chairs. They didn't care steps. They didn't care what they used to win a match. Hey, pay attention. Put that away. Put that away, or I'll take that phone and I will throw it in the trash can. Now I got your attention. Yeah. All right, I got your attention. I can pay attention. You can't. Throw away an iPhone. I will throw that. Phone. Hey, I will no, throw that phone won't. away. Yes, I will. I will put it in that trash can. Now put it away. Put it away and listen. The sheep herders, anyways, tried to interfere in that cage match, but the team they had just faced, by the name of Rick Mortel and Stan the Man Stasia, who was a former WWF World Heavyweight Champion, <coughs> stopped them before they could get near that cage and try to climb in and help Buddy Rose when Piper was in the middle of winning that match. Okay, and that match, right before that cage match, the Sheep Herders had just faced those two and had just got beat by them, so they were in a ticked-off mood. And in the opening match, we had Dutch Savage, who was a seven-time... Wait, time. wait, who was in a ticked-off mood? The ticked-off mood was the Bushwhackers. Why? Uh, that you know them as the Bushwhackers, but they were known as the Sheep Herders because they had just lost a match. I just told you that, if you had paid attention. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. yeah, now you're sorry. Now you got my full attention. Okay, well, anyways, so when they, after they got beat, and like I said, they tried to get in that match, and it did not work. So, and all three of them got beat back to the dressing room, Rose still bleeding, and Piper was bleeding, and it was just chaotic, and the fans were into it. They were so into it, because it was something they didn't know what was going to happen. It was unpredictable, and that's what pro wrestling is. It is unpredictable. You don't know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, or how it's going to happen, and nobody knows who's going to win. Nobody knows who's going to lose, and that's what makes it fun for the fans and fun for the wrestlers, because nobody knows. In the opening match, we had Dutch Savage take on Chris Cole. Yes, I know. Who was Dutch Savage? <laughs> Dutch Savage was a seven-time Pacific Northwest heavyweight champion. He came up through, he started in 1958 and stayed through 1983, sometimes as a wrestler, sometimes as Wait, a referee. You kind of st stuttered on those years, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. He started in 1958. He came to Oregon in 1962 and stayed all the way through 1990. 
for for the pro wrestling, for the for the wrestle. Now you're getting me frustrated. Thanks. Anyways, Dutch well, Savage was a seven. Ryan Parker, put that down. That's it. That's it. Give me that phone. Give me that phone. Give me that phone. How Give me that long phone. can you go on talking? Put that phone down. It I can go be. on as long as I want. Now put that phone away. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Ike? Uh -huh. You wait. Your turn's are coming. It's still yours, big money. Put your money away. I don't care. Now, as I started to tell you, you need to learn this. Dutch Savage. Seven times he was the heavyweight champion of the Pacific Northwest. Hey, pay attention. Your girlfriend will be oh there when my. you get home. Your girlfriend's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay? Now, Dutch Savage. Seven time heavyweight champion. Twelve time Tag team champion. So I think he knew what he was doing in that ring. Because he would never have won those titles, you know, without being a damn good wrestler. And that's what you are, Ryan. You've got that in you. But we got to bring it out of you, okay? This cocky attitude of yours and wanting to be on your phone all the time isn't going to get you anywhere. What you need is a persona and just go peek your people in that ring and perform for that people in the ring. Wait, win or lose. wait. I got a text message. <laughs> What's the message? No, you're not going to touch my phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone now. So, uh, Give me the phone right now. So are we going to wrap this up? Yes, we're going to wrap it up in a minute. I need my beauty sleep. Oh, good God. Ah, you're getting me tired, old man. Old man? What'd you call me? You call me old man? Listen, you little young son of a bitch. Yeah. The next class, you better be on time. And you better be ready to go and take notes and quit being so cocky because that's what's going to cost you in this business. Do you understand what I'm telling you? You're going to learn this history, and I will cram it down your throat to where you learn it and understand what these wrestlers meant before they get. Because without them, you wouldn't be here right now. Okay, class dismissed. Well, now that class is dismissed, always remember to wear your protection. And while you're at it, go add me on Snapchat at Ryan underscore Parker Pro. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed that class today. Sorry about Mr. Parker acting like an idiot out here all night, all day today, asking stupid questions. But that's what you get with these young kids nowadays. But I promise you this much. I promise you this much. I will, I will get him there to what he needs to learn about his history. I hope you learned a little something, too, and not the cocky attitude being on that phone all the time, because the phone is not your life. I'll tell you what is life, and that is pro wrestling. Pro wrestling is real life, believe it or not. And you do use it every day, whether you know it or not. And Mr. Parker, as frustrating as he is, and yeah, he's cocky, he's young, he's frustrating, I will get him there. Okay? And I hope you all will enjoy this, because we're going to take a journey on another year, and I'm going to try to teach Mr. Parker and teach all of you a whole lot of history. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This is Mr. Little Red. We will see you next week at the Training Academy. Parker! <laughs>